What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a gutter in a rabbit uh, but not only that, all of the little extra things that go along with that how to kind of do the caps on each side of the gutter and also how to model the downpipe that goes from the gutter all the way down to the ground or wherever it's supposed to uh, lead the water. And now I have already created one tutorial uh, a few weeks ago on gutters in Revit. I showed you how to create this cool uh, hidden gutter design in Revit and it was quite successful. So if you want to check it out, I'm going to be leaving a link to that somewhere in the description below. Uh, and I think gutters are a really important part of architecture. Uh, they can make or break the building. They can really ruin the design of the building if you don't think about it before uh, and uh, before the building is built and if you don't take it into, into consideration when it comes to design of the whole facade. Uh, so that's why, they, why I thought it would be uh, important to create this video where I show you uh, all of the little extra steps when it comes to creating gutters in red. Uh, now, before I get into that tutorial, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also make sure to subscribe. I make multiple tutorials each week and also I create uh, courses. I've got beginner to intermediate courses like my uh, how to describe it beginner to intermediate 16 hour course. And then also I have numerous intermediate and advanced level courses. Uh, all can be found either on my website or my Patreon. Both links are somewhere in the description of this video. Uh, so you can find it there. And also on my Patreon, you can find, find all of my project files. Uh, so check it out if you're interested. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Rabbit. And here we are in a rabbit. So uh, let's start a new project. So I'm just going to go here to models and then to new. And of course, I'm going to choose the Balkan Arctic template, the metric version. And if you're looking for uh, my personalized custom template, the link is available in the description of the video. So I'm just going to click OK here. And then as soon as Revit starts up, uh, we can start uh, creating our uh, building for our gutter and the downpipe and everything else. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just to create a simple structure. So I'm just going to use the wall command and then I'm just going to create a simple rectangle uh, such as this. Uh, hit the escape key a couple of times, then I'm going to go here to the roof tool uh, and then the roof is going to be created on level 2, so we're going to get this little prompt uh, asking us do we want to place it on level 2 or level 1. I'm going to leave it at level 2 of course, click yes and there we go. Uh, now let's just use pick walls uh, with an overhang of, uh, let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's go with 0.5 meters, so let's try something like that, there we go all the way around, hit the escape key a couple of times, and then one thing that I'm going to do is just do a little cross selection like this, uh, select the top and the bottom sides, and then I'm just going to uncheck the define slope. This will just make the slope on uh, these sides here. Hit finish. Uh, Revit is going to ask me do we want the highlighted walls to attach the roof, and I'm just going to hit yes. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so once we have that, let's go to the 3D view just to see what we have created. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. So once we have our uh, building created, the next step is going to be creating our gutter. Uh, so for the gutter, you want to go here to the roof tool. And instead of clicking on the roof tool, uh, you can open up the drop menu. And here, the final option, the last one, is gutter. Uh, now, when you select that, you're going to notice that here we have a gutter. And then we can go here into edit type and choose a particular profile. Uh, currently, we only have two versions loaded in. Uh, let's choose the larger one, perhaps. Hit apply. OK. And then you just pick a side on which you want to place it. Uh, now I suggest you place it on the top side because, well, that's where the water is coming from. Uh, if you place it on the bottom, the water might kind of overshoot. And you can always fine tune the position by uh, changing constraints. So here you can set this to 0.05. I don't know. This is just five centimeters up. OK, this won't make sense. Uh, but you get the point. You can play around with this offset a little bit. Maybe minus 0.05. There we go, something like that. Uh, but in, in this case, I'm just going to leave it here on the edge. Uh, now, before we finish everything, we have to do just one more thing, and that's to kind of cap off this gutter. Now, usually it's not going to be open like this because, well, water then would flow out. Uh, so we need to figure out some sort of fake cap. Now, I have seen many different people uh, doing different things for this, creating a gutter profile and then creating a really small segment of the gutter. Uh, personally, I found the best option 
uh, the best solution to go here to a component, open up the drop menu, go to model in place, and then just select this as, I guess, this is part of the roof. We don't really have gutter as an option, unfortunately. So let's just categorize this as a roof. We can call it the gutter cap. There we go. And now uh, it's really simple. You just go here to set work plane. And then when you select that, you go with pick a plane option, click OK. And then you want to select this face of the gutter here. Next, you want to go to the extrusion tool, use pick lines, and then just pick out the inner sides of this thing, maybe like that. And then let's just pick the top one as well. Hit the escape key a couple of times. I'm just going to select the top one, uh, take this little grip point, and then just flip it all the way to the other side, snap it there, perfect. Hit finish. And of course, it is a bit too long, so let's make it smaller uh, like this. Okay, it doesn't make sense to continue working in uh, in these units, so I might change those. Uh, let's see, project units. Let's switch to centimeters. I think it's going to make it a bit easier. Click OK. There we go. Okay, so let's make this uh, 0.05. Oops. So 0 0.05 five centimeters, which is like five millimeters. Uh, next, to place this on the other side as well, uh, my favorite way to do this is just to copy this one. So just go here to copy the clipboard, paste, and then just paste it at the same place, like this. Now, as you can see, we have two of these overlapping, and then I just want to extend this one like that a little bit, and then all the way to the other side. It's going to snap at the edge. Next, uh, you, you just select the other grip, and then just drag it over and then you just make it real close like that. And then this should be 0.5. Oops, let's see, let's try that again. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now we have those gutter caps, everything looks perfect, and now I can just hit finish model, and there we go. Uh, these two are both together. Let's see, can I join these two? There we go, perfect. Let's join the other side as well. Okay, it's already joined. Okay, so once we have that, the next step is going to be to place the down pipe. So the pipe that goes from the gutter down and takes the water away from the building. Now uh, you can do this uh, by going here to the systems tab and then we have the pipe option. Uh, but before we do that, we have to add a reference plane on which we want to host this. So I'm just going to go here into level one or actually level two so I can see the roof. There we go, the gutter is here. Uh, so what you want to do is just go here to architecture, all the way to the other side to reference plane, and then I'm just going to place a small reference plane like this at the edge or at the center of this wall, that, that's okay. And then for the name, I'm just going to hold, uh, call this one a gutter RP for reference plane. There we go. Okay, now let's move to one of the elevations. So let's see, this could be the south elevation, for example. There we go, perfect. And next, uh, when you're in the south elevation, you want to go here to the systems tab, to the pipe, and now we can create our pipe. Now for this pipe, if we go into edit type here, we can choose which type of a pipe we want to use. Let's say we want to use, I don't know, a steel pipe or something like that. Click OK. Uh, apply, okay, and then for the diameter we can go with 65 millimeters and then what you want to do is, uh, well before we do this let's set the work plane and set it to gutter reference plane, there we go, then pipe, there we go. Okay, so now what you want to do is start off here from the gutter, click once, and then once you once you start going down, you're going to notice that we can't really see a pipe. We just have one line. And the reason for that is because of the detail level is set to coarse. When you set it to fine, now when you click, there we go. Looks much better. So now I can go down a little bit. And then when I want to make a turn, well, Revit doesn't allow me to. It allows me to go down and click, but I can't make a turn. Well, why is this? Let's go back a couple of steps. Uh, the problem is, here if I go into edit type and open up routing preferences, uh, we don't really have any elbows, so the elbow family is set to none. So we have to load in an elbow so we can make this pipe work. So you have to go here to the insert tab, go to load family, and then on the load family, let's go back a few steps. Okay, so let's go to US metric and then search for pipe here for fittings, and then for, I don't know, let's go with PVC or something like that, or steel. And uh, next, let's see, 
Okay, this doesn't work very well. Let's try generic. I, I think that's the best option, I guess. Okay, so here we have the generic elbow. I think that's the best option to use right now. So uh, let's go with that one. Go here into edit type to load it in. Uh, go to ro uh, routing preferences. And here uh, you can choose that one, which is the elbow. And then here we can just set the minimum and maximum sizes. That's okay. Let's use all. And now we can finally place it. So you want to go here, click once go down a little bit and then we can continue at a 45 degree angle or maybe something a bit steeper maybe 60 degrees come in closer to the house and then go all the way down now once you, what you do when you go down that's really up to you uh, in some cases you might want to kind of take it away from the building so it kind of doesn't uh, go here uh, it doesn't let a lot of water near the foundation or in some cases it's just going to go away with the uh, with the plumbing and all of the piping into some uh, other <laughs> uh, into some other bigger pipes uh, but in this case let's just leave it like this for now now and let's go into the 3d view and something that's really annoying is the fact that it kind of overshoots always it doesn't really like to stay up on that reference plane so we can go back into level one find that and then let's just move it like this we can find the uh, center edge go up 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 there we go place it there on the reference plane and now if we go into 3d there we go we have our pipe and of course so what you can do is select that pipe uh, go to maybe the site plan and then what you want to do is use mirror with the draw access option find the center mirror it like that go to the 3d view there we go now we have it on both sides of the building so there we go that's how you create your uh, gutter and the down pipe that leads from that gutter now you can customize the material here uh, for your uh, pipe you can play around a little bit with the settings uh, so I'm just going to leave it uh, like this for now but of course you can take this uh, further if you want but this is the basic approach for creating uh, gutters and down pipes in Revit